Hi. I'm at the pool. One of the pools where I'm at. In the land of the Lenny Lenape people, beings. Turtle Island. Northeastern region. East Coast, New Jersey, the United States of America. I'm here chilling at the pool, took a nice walk. So I like to go for a half hour, 30 minute walk, one way in the 30 minute walk home, which would be an hour walking. And so this is the midway point from my house. And it's a beautiful day. It's a bit breezy. Very mild temperature. Um, I'm sitting under a tree where it's shady. Um, it's not crowded here, but there is. There are people here. Enjoying the sun and the pool. I'm enjoying, enjoying my uh, day of respite that I'm choosing. Whether you call it Shabbat or Shabbos or Shabbat or holy days like me, I like to celebrate. Saturday, Sunday, and a celebration of honoring God for all things is actually spilling into other days during the week, which I really like, and giving space for what needs to be to be and being constant in more gratitude versus the religious structure of this day, this is what it's meant for. So being going for a walk every day is something I don't do every day, but I would like to, and it's a goal of mine. And uh, I live in such a beautiful place that I... Um, I just want to celebrate it, celebrate the beauty of what God offers me. I'm looking at a bunch of people, they look like they're celebrating. So where I'm at is our recreation center, one of our recreation centers. There's three here. <clears throat> it's located within a nature reserve. So there's wildlife everywhere. Over 2,000 some people live in this neighborhood. Community. Within a community. <laughs> Within a greater community. Within the broader community, right? The aloha. So that's what I'm speaking of, is sharing my aloha. What God is speaking to me about and teaching me currently is relationships of lies, relationships to lies. Relationships of lies. So the question is, how do I trust someone who chooses to lie to me?
And in this conversation that God's having with me, I'm having with God, I can recognize the gratitude of the learning potential for myself to speak and be in truth, to live my truth, to uh, live in more truth, and to not fall into the pretense of the world as we know it, because the world as we know it, I feel, is covered in lies. And it may sound cynical, but this is what I'm traversing is, as I'm trying to make myself look cuter. Got a new haircut, so it's trying to trying to make sense of it. Trying to make sense of why people who I'm close to personally, relationship wise, why do they choose to lie to me? I know for me why I used to lie or why I lie okay so let me not be all self-righteous about this I'm doing the best I can not to lie and and so what God is sharing with me is the lies that I say about myself about my story and about other people who relate to my story And one thing that I'm learning about that goes hand in hand with this is the order. Knowing the order of things, of life, of creation. This is why I love spending time outdoors, is because the more I connect with you know, non-human contact, but with the contact of the um, the other beings, the tree beings, the plant beings, the animal beings, the non-human beings. The languages of, of what, uh, all this stuff that I'm sharing about helps to cleanse and clear helps me to be clearer about my intentions moving forward helps me with my art with my what I create what I create in art what I create with food in my home my relationships to the people around me to the beings around me So I'm talking about, you know, everything. Just broadening my perspectives and which I'm thankful for and my consciousness. And so with this person that I'm speaking of, who I spent time with yesterday and who told me a story of their past. And of course, I immediately felt empathy and compassion on a greater level for this person. But also, I was hearing the message from Kapuna that said to me, I um, don't know. I don't know if that's true. I don't know how true that is. Be careful. Don't be, don't get too involved. Careful of this person. 
can't trust what she says because she's lied so much and because she is a family member and I love her very much. Um, you know, she's a kapuna. So to find that place of balance, of honoring, honoring people in my life, even though they lie, That's a journey. Do any of you have any experience with this? If you do, I would love to hear in the comments, read in the comments. How do you traverse it with love? Because I've been, I've operated a lot on the other side, the other way, which is shut people out, close people down, get them out of my space, get away from me, I don't want anything to do with you. Very harshly, you know, cut out relationships. And I don't feel that way right now. I don't feel the way of that. I feel the way of inclusion more than I ever have. where at one time that served me, that cutting out people out of my life served me. Currently, I'm not saying I won't do it again in the future, I'm just saying currently with the relationships around me, I want to um, coexist for me with more peace in me, that my choice is my choices and their choices are their choices. But how do I traverse that? How do I communicate as somebody's communicating with me their lies? Or my uncertainty if they're telling the truth? How do I? I mean, what's coming to me is that, you know, ask questions to connect. And to empathize with people's where they're at because even though you know people will share a situ you know how they're feeling that's not necessarily the whole story it's a small part of the story it could be a big part of the story but from what I know when people open up about stuff typically there's more to the story there's so much more going on That's what's going on that's where i'm at <laughs> so yeah comment of what it is that you how you traverse lies people lying in your life to you traversing relationships that you have very little confidence in and how they talk what they say because they've lied a lot. That it's really difficult to have confidence in somebody who, because of the track record, because of their merit, and working in the current. So, you know, past is one thing, right? Because I believe everybody has, has an opportunity to evolve. So I, I choose to um, receive and hear and relate to people in the current moment. <clears throat> in the current moment only. Because, you know, forgiveness for my actions from the past has already been given. Therefore, 
I am to do the same and I choose to operate that way. It brings me a lot of peace. And what it is, it comes from the teachings of Yeshua, of, um, of love to the human. And that expands out into other non-human relationships. And it goes back and forth. So it's, it's, a, it's an outward and an inward movement, right? It's a, it's, a, it's a vibration, the movement of going in and going out and, you know, being present and going outward with love and then allowing it to flow forward into to me. So flow it outward and then flow it inward. You know, because that's what I want to bring into my life is that that type of flow, that aloha, that aloha flow. So, I am planning today when I get home to paint, continue working on my painting a season. The season ends in two weeks, so I'll be putting um, the details working on that today and enjoying my walk home and so the next season coming up will be summer here where I'm at in the northern hemisphere for those in the southern you're entering winter and so the painting a season workshop is not a continuation each painting is done for each season. So one painting per season. It doesn't flow and carry through. You don't continue the painting to the next season. That's another workshop that I have and that's called Ho'oponopono. And I'm really excited to talk about that. The Ho'oponopono workshop is a workshop that is a year long and it is a creative uh all of my workshops are creative and so this is a large painting um, and what it involves is expansion of spirituality as your foundation on a very deep level And I would say this is for people who want to create some serious transformations in your life. Trusting that the flow of each season, each moment will offer opportunities, gifts of the divine, bringing information and knowledge to help you on your human journey. We access information, divine information. What I help with is how to do it with creativity. So we're looking at um, creating not just a painting, one big painting, but we work with journals and um, affirmation, healing prayer cards. And so I'm really excited about this painting workshop. Uh, so that's one, that's a year long. Now, let me get back to the seasonal. So summer, winter, painting a season workshop begins June 20th. A registration is occurring currently and what it is is it's at the, from the beginning of the season to the end of the season 
you learn skills of painting. So this is for everybody who, uh, whether you're a beginner, novice, never painted before, or if you have been painting for a while like myself, it appeals to everybody. And so um, we paint with the current season. So the information of our environment inside our bodies, outside our bodies, in our homes, outside our homes, in nature and wilderness, um, the relationships that we have with people, with all things, the aloha. I weave in aloha teachings, um, ancient Kanaka teachings as a means for you to access your own bloodline knowledge, your own kupuna, uh, divine messages. So we speak about that, I speak about that, I teach that, um, woven in. And it is a collaborative painting with divine, with God, with your uh, with your elders, with your ancestors. So, I want to share with you that honoring your mother, and, honoring the mother and father, honoring the ancestors of the mother and the father, grandparents, mother, father, from eons. So we're not just looking at the immediate bloodline, we're looking at relatives, we're looking at all to be considered. And to be able to tap into that energetic transmission and access your own story, access your own story for your creative painting, uh, access your own story of your bloodlines. Now, um, why? Why would you want to do this? One, because. Um, in our current human timeline, we must be ready to be able to hear not just from the human, but to be able to relate to beings in all aspects, from all dimensions. This is aloha. This is what our bodies are moving, have been moving into as we move through the universe as we move through space our bodies are being transformed as we age our bodies are being transformed right so to be able to relate in a more conscious way with more awareness this is a means of possible transformation for me for you from afflictions why I choose to teach it is because I have been healed. I've been healed by divine and by my own choosings, by my own choices. So in partnership in collaboration and during my healing process, I, of course I was painting. And so that was, there was languages that were coming to me for this painting that helped me to transform my entire body, mind, body, spirit, which is still in the transformative process, but from extreme sickness to, um, and disease to more balance where I'm at right now. So I'm, um, I'm really excited about this summer winter session of a painting a season workshop. If you're interested, please reach out to me. Um, at hawcreativemystics.com I'm sorry, hawcreativemystics at gmail.com hawcreativemystics at gmail.com You can also gain more information if you like about my teachings at hawcreativemystics.com My contact information is there as well. You can also find information about my other workshops and offerings that I have I want to offer this to you as well. If you're in, if you're in need of prayer, reach out to me at hawcreativemystics at gmail.com. I can help you. I'm also a messenger. And that's something that I want to speak about more. And that is one of my gifts 
One of my 1 Corinthians gifts, 1 Corinthians 12 gifts mentioned as the spirit, spiritual gifts, um, is messages that come to me for others. And so um, these are divine messages. So I just want to let you all know that um, besides being an instructor, I also offer that too. So thank you for listening. If you liked what I shared here, please like this video, share it with anyone that you know that could use the message um, or with your friends that you know you want to participate with that you um, that you have relations with and um, help me to grow this YouTube channel because everything that I share is my personal journey and the reason that I do it is to encourage others to inspire others on your on their personal journey too and this is the message that came to me from my divine God, Creator, Kupuna, my ancestors, those in the angelic realm whose intentions is to help me to expand love, whose intentions are love for me only, only love for me, um, for me to operate in that space of expanding love. One other thing that I offer is that once a month on the full moon, uh, I have a gathering called Mana Vahine Sanctuary. And this gathering is for just women. And we honor the planet, the humanness and non-humanness of all multiverse. We expand love, giving um, gratitude prayers in language, in song, in dance, holding space quietness to creator God who creates all things and so we also during the Manavahini sanctuary gathering on the full moon we gather to support each other support each other's process human process human experience um, it's a chance to build friendships to create friendships and network um, and to expand expand love together to form a sisterhood um, I also want to share that for those who have supernatural experiences such as myself this is a safe space for you to come and to share your knowledge to share your giftings for any woman who is interested in living a life of spirituality as a foundation um, Please come. Okay. So if you have any questions, just reach out. I'd be happy to answer anything for you and to help you through. And if you're interested in my workshops, reach out too. I look forward to hearing from you soon. Have a great day. Bye.